yeah. Oh yeah. Good luck to me. Good luck to us. I can do this. I can do this. You can do this. I can do this. Aja, fighting. Suddenly you call my name when I was over. Float up to the moon. Oh my gosh! It's so this is so nerve wracking. It's really a nerve wracking experience for me. I was the senior student assistant in our department, so. I was the one handling files and excels and data about the books. Dr. I'm good. How are you? Yes, can you hear me okay? Okay. Um I have I have been tagged by a post by one of your I don't know people then I was really hesitant at first because I don't usually apply with companies who don't fit my skills and personality but then um, as I glimpsed through your website I was really shocked and I was caught when you said on your website that you focus on processes specifically on procedures and systems on documentations and I was happy because that was really my niche. Um, how how long have you been in this industry? Wow. I see. I think I think that you enjoy your job because you wouldn't stay there for almost three years if you don't. Um, what do you enjoy about this industry? Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I am Paula Bruel and I am a 20 year old fur mom. I have two fur kids. Their names are Nami and Chacha. I also have a YouTube channel wherein I have 1,280 subscribers and counting. It's not a big YouTube channel. <laughs> it's just something that I love to do. And, um, excuse me, sorry? Uh, okay, I focus more on beauty, um, reviews, challenges, and I also do live streams so that I can enhance my um, um, communication skills with my audience. Okay. I also have a background in communications. I studied in University of the East and on and since my first year I had my student assistant. I was a student assistant in our engineering library department and it was hard because my course was communications then my department was engineering so I really had to adjust and I was the senior student assistant for our department, I had to check in with the books. I, for my leisure time, I do painting. I paint. I paint because when I paint, I feel relaxed and free, and all the and all of these creative juices just run through me, and it makes me possible to make beautiful paintings. That is all. Thank you. <laughs> Um, right now, I'm really thinking of focusing on on my, on my career, um, especially on my family, on um, giving their necessities, especially with my mom because she's been through a lot. So I want to give back to them, yeah, and learn more about the industry of being a virtual assistant. Actually, I started looking this January 
um, a couple of months ago and it was really hard um, everyone was there there were they say that they were looking for new experience but then again they they wouldn't accept me they were really looking for people who were experienced it was really hard it was really tough there were many breakdowns that happened and there were times that I got scammed so <laughs> it was really hard for me and then and then came and I was really happy and I'm proud of myself for coming this this far for having a final interview oh <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> Um, I was specifically applying for transcriptionist and someone who would do documents who would, you know, if you if they wanted to have invitations or some kind, some, some job in line with that. I was really open also with other jobs, but my, my auntie told me to focus more on being a virtual assistant because she said that more people are looking for virtual assistance, um, especially now in this pandemic, because it's really hard to look for people who you know you would hire for a long time and would not really get in with the business that they have. Um, at first, it would be really hard because I don't have any experience, but um, with any job given to me, I'm very sure that I will give my 100%. and. Um, like my previous job, my being a student assistant, I was from a communications program then down to a engineering library and it was hard but then um, I will do everything that I can. I will make all my resources possible to do everything to meet my clients' um, expectations and to get the job done. Um, maybe it's um, their attitude towards a, a virtual assistant of them being racist because um, today um, people just look down on people who are working for them because they're just their bosses and, and we are just the employees and I think we should not tolerate people who have very rude personality but then again if you if you really want to work with them and just get in just whatever with the racism but but that's not me I have strong integrity and I want people to respect me as I respect them as well <laughs> yes, thank you that's good I really don't have a preferred schedule. It's American time, right? So it would be in the midnight here in the Philippines. I think um, working graveyard shift would be challenging. Um, and I think it would be fun as well because it will really challenge me to do more and stay awake while um, doing productive outcomes. Um, based on my research, I believe that virtual assistants assistants um, work remotely with entrepreneurs, clients, and businesses with what the virtual assistant can offer. Um, excuse me, I the connection got interrupted. I didn't hear the last sentence. Okay. Um, I would feel really pressured and puzzled because, of course, in, in a span of how many weeks you've done many things, but, but that won't really stop me because if my client didn't train me, there are many resources wherein I can get answers. Um, ex example is that I, I am a part of many groups in Facebook wherein there are many, um, there are many knowledgeable virtual assistants where I can ask help and another thing is there is Google and YouTube where in just a click of a button you can know everything on how on how to bookkeep or on how to edit things 
so it won't really be a problem what what will be important to me though is being um time management time management is really a top priority in these kind of jobs because um in a span of three weeks you have to make everything effectively and be productive with what you are doing um I think it would be really nice and I would really enjoy it because I love talking to people. Um, that's why I took up <laughs> communications as my course. Yes. And I would love to, you know, like getting to know the person and if there are problems, I would like to help them with their problems. And I, I have my family who are people of customer service. That's why I think I have that part of me which really is interested on customer service and talking to people. Um, what do you mean by virtual system architects? Because I got really confused when I saw that um, you call your virtual assistants as virtual system architects. So I got confused, I'm sorry. Actually, I like it better. It sounds more fancy. <laughs> um, no, that would be all. I think um, sixteen thousand or thirteen to sixteen thousand would would be nice. I think I would commit to forty hours a week. Yes, I am available to start. Oh, I'm sorry I'm not familiar but I will get I will try and search for it and get used to it um I've always I've always experienced this kind of stuff especially here in the Philippines that it is really inevitable and I make sure that since I was in college I make sure that my files are stored in my Google Drive or in my cloud so that whenever there is power outages power outages or internet connection um problems my group mates now my clients can see um where do i where 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 task did i stop okay um if it were on the power outages there is a mall um nearby so i can ride a bus and go to the nearest coffee shop and just plug on my um my laptop or my tablet and if it were for the internet connection um, it wouldn't be a problem um, I would just you know pay for the data yes it yes that would be a, that would be hard um, maybe another thing with uh, having an extra power bank in me so that if ever of course, <laughs> laptops couldn't be charged in power banks. I could work in, on my tablet on that. Um, how do you think I do? <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Have a nice day.